Hi guys, Lee here with your free market update. On this market update, we're gonna look at order types with inside your broker. How you can use limit orders, market orders, and stop orders to get into trades, okay? So let's dive into the lesson. Okay, so we've dived into the charts here. I've opened up the pound versus the US dollar. So on a daily time frame, we had a short signal on the pro trade system at 131.18. It's currently trading at 129.62, so about 150, 155 pips on that trade profitably already. There's our target down here at 129.12, but let's backtrack a little bit here. Let's go back a couple of days and show you what we did here so here is 131.18 now let's get the broker up let's get a ticket uh, tear off ticket here from the IG platform so come into here now one second let's just move this along so on this day here you would have had the short signal on the pound US dollar at 131.18 okay so that would have been given and signaled for you then you go into your broker now in this case, we wanted to put a limit order to sell. Now, if we get the confirmation and you're at your charts and you can literally short this market, you would do a market order. So you just go into, put your size in, into deal here and just click short. Now you'll be shorting around this 131.18. But let's say it's the evening time, you're doing other things, you would put a limit order in. Now, if the price is at 131.10 uh, and you wanted to put an order in which you would have done here at 131.18 with the Pro Trend system, that would be a sell limit order. You would go into your broker, click order to open. You'd go sell, I don't wanna buy it, I want to sell. And then you go 131, you could type it in as well if you want to, 131.18. Okay, and that is where the ProTrain system is telling you where to place your entry. Put your position size in. This is five pounds a point. Now this is the important bit here. Limit order. Now because the price at that time would have been trading potentially below the limit order, you know, you're looking to limit where you want to place the trade. So you want it to get the price to go up to 131.18 and to fill you in the trade. A stop order, a sell stop order, is a worse price. Think of it like this. When you use the word stop to get into a trade, so if I put stop order here, okay, you're always getting the worse price, but which means if I was shorting, I want the price to go up to get a better price. If the market, I wanted to short the market down here with a sell stop, stop ripping me off stop ripping me off you're always getting a worse price for it when you're using a stop to get into a trade so it's a limit order that's how we remember it and some of our students remember it stop ripping me off stop ripping me off you're getting a bad worse price from the broker but because i'm waiting for a better price it's a limit order and it's above the current price where it's trading of course put your stop in you've got your stop areas here once you do that then you just submit okay so if you're looking to get into a trade above where it's currently trading, sell limit order. If you're looking to get into a trade, let's say here, and you, um, you, you're buying them, you wanted the price was trading here, and you wanted to buy a breakout here above the price. Let's go and do that, get the ticket up. Okay, so over here, I wanted to buy up here position size again order to open let's do it in this one it will be a buy you put your order to open up here it'd be 135 uh, 46 let's type it in this is after the events happen by the way position size now if I want to do that here would be a buy stop order stop ripping me off because I'm getting a bigger worse price for it up here if I wanted a better price, I'd be down here with a limit order to buy as the price comes down. Now we've had this question before, and it's a simple question, it's a simple answer, simple question, but it's 
it's something that's come up several times. And the question really is, does the price have to trade at your order? And the answer is yes. Okay, the price has to come down to your order, in fact, just below for limit order for you to be filled in the trade. It has to be trading at your price where you place that order. Okay, I know it sounds really silly, but people have asked that question. And it's something that you may want to um, just go over again this video and just see um, you know, where that order is. So the pound, you would have had a limit order here. This is a sell limit order. And where it gets a little bit confusing, guys, and I hope I've explained it as clear as mud. Um, there's a limit order here. So you open the position with a limit order, sell limit order here at 131.18. 131.18 because that's where have I got that price from? I got it from the Pro Trend Systems short signal, and down here is 129.12, and that's where your limit goes. Okay, so you work out um, your entry to where the profit target is, and you basically just put that in this section here, the limit section. So let's say you know, let's just work it out. So we got a 206 pip profit, so we put 206 here. You love your stop loss, you work your stop loss out, you know, we'll do it. I haven't got time to work it out. And you just click submit button. Next day the price trades or you know, pretty much that night the price may trade at your order to get into the trade, your limit order. You filled in the trade, your stop loss gets put in automatically, and your profit targets put in it's automatically. All right, and you can see here if uh, it moves down there, that's that's two hundred and uh, if you do put a pound in here. You see 206 pounds profit you would make on that trade. All right, relatively straightforward. Uh, I know it confuses people, orders, limit orders, but just always remember that little saying. If you're trying to get into a trade above for a long with an order, it's a stop order. If you're trying to get in further down, worse than where it is now, it's a stop order. If you're trying to get a better price, it's a limit order. Okay, stop ripping me off is the way to remember stop orders. Um, at times, okay. We haven't we haven't spoke about placing stops because that even confuses it even more. But I uh, hope it helps, guys. And uh, I'll speak to you on the next market update. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel here, guys. Hit the subscribe button below this video, and you will get notifications on the next trading update. Update. So I'll speak to you soon, guys. Take care. Hit that subscribe button, and I'll speak to you soon. Take care.